have our setup. You and I are going to dinner. Now, I'm going to ask you, what do you think is the dirtiest area in our setup, even though it looks beautiful? In this dining room Yes, setup. what would be in a restaurant? What would typically be? The menu. Be the... That was a really good guess, and I'll talk about that a little later, but the answer is your seat. Oh, of course. Your seat. Of course. of course. They never, ever, ever, ever clean the seat. Right. And if they do, they just wipe it down, and they wipe it down with an old cloth that they use all night long, right. and it's filthy. So let's have a seat. What, what do you do, bring little our... toilet paper covers? Or... Well, I, you know, I just think you wipe it down. You just wipe it down yourself. You know, at least you get off the You are the not top going lid. to go into a restaurant and wipe down. No, no, no. With a napkin, you just wipe I do. Oh, with a napkin, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, dust yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, so you sit down, and you look. This drives me crazy, by the way, to see menus mm. on a plate because you know that these menus have been handled by lots of people all over the place. I just like that as well. Right? Isn't yeah. that crazy? So um, what I do make sure the first thing is I make sure that if this has touched anything, I ask to replace the silverware, replace the napkin, just because it just right. makes you feel better. Okay? So the waiter I or also the... don't like seeing a menu inside a slip cover like this because that says to me they get food all over it. They never change the menu. So there's going to be food product there, too. That's right. I don't like anybody that puts their menu in a little slip cover. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Doesn't work. So let's. Oh, so your waiter or waitress will come over, and then they bring this first thing out. Now, this is my first tip to you. When you see water that's mm -hmm. already been sitting on the table in a carafe, mm -hmm. it may look nice, and you say, oh, wow, they were expecting me. Uh, yeah, that may be nice, but when water sits between 40 and 140 degrees, no good. Why? Because bacteria likes warm water to grow. Wow. So what you do very nicely is say, can you replace the water and give me something as cold as possible? Because most bacteria do not like cold temperatures. I love knowing that. Isn't that great? Love knowing that. So that's no, a great one. No warm water. And that's very trendy, especially in New York. It's very trendy to have the, the house, you know, house water right. Right, on the table. Sometimes you'll see one sparkling that they make there. That's right. And one uh, still, but it's already on already the table. table. You it's room it's temperature. You have no idea how long it's been No there. good. The other thing, this is one of my favorites. Now, I learned this from my friend uh, Michael Strahan. Um, we were talking about this one night. When you see lemons, mm -hmm. lemons tend to be filthy. I, I eat a lot of lemons, but I wash the lemons first. And I always buy organic because I know I'm going to use the skin. But you do. You wa <clears throat> this is what you said. Yes. You wash them. When you go to a restaurant or a bar. They're not washing them. They're not washed. They're typically left out. And if they're oh. getting them from the bar and not from the back of the kitchen, bartenders Oh, you are, are freaking me out because I always get lemon in my water. Oh, no always. way. No always. Way. And you know what I do? 45 years I've been drinking <laughs> lemon in my water. Well, you got a really strong stomach now. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is... I ask for it, they think I'm crazy. Bring me a whole lemon from the back, I say. And then I cut it myself, and then I do what I want to do with the lemon. Wow. Okay, the next thing is, now I love bread more than anybody you know, by yeah. the way. I love bread. However, one of the issues with bread is, first of all, the basket. This actually is good setup. Always make sure that there's something in the basket a that's protecting, a liner yes. protecting the bread. But you know what, and this is not all the time, but in some places, they might recycle the bread. I know, but it's true. It's true. It, you know, if I only ate three, there are four left. You know, people are trying to be economical. They may recycle it. So what I do, to be honest with you, let's say, could you bring me a fresh, you know, I emphasize without being kind of, you know, convicting them, can you bring me a fresh basket of bread? And typically, if it's warmer, it's probably a good idea that it's probably fresh, but good tip. just be careful of the bread. You know, this makes you sound like the most paranoid guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the last thing, too. It's not on here, but... Always, I think that restaurants should serve on paper. It, you know, because paper, you, a, a, if you can't afford a linen cloth and other places, but on the regular table, I don't want my stuff sitting oh, on a regular Oh, you mean like surface. in a diner or something? Yes. <laughs>